Bordeaux will be hoping to bounce back from their midweek Europa League defeat at Apoel Nicosia with victory over arch rivals Nantes. The home side go into the match on a seven game unbeaten run. Well, the Atlantic Derby special guest Serge De Lama, abducted from a circus by drunken youths last week, welcomed the players onto the pitch before kick off. This is the side's first meeting at the Stade Chaban Delma in five years after Nantes' relegation to Ligue 2 in 2007. Well, a gorgeous day here in southwest France, and there's the first chance of the match. A Braniac going close. Sertic with the cross. And that header just clipped the base of the post. Here are Nantes. That's a superb volley. And a chance and a goal. Nantes have taken the lead. Bessat with the goal. It's a superb cross from Bedoya. Djordjevic swings and misses. And there's Berdat, leaving the goalkeeper Caroso with no chance. Well, there is the half-time whistle. The goal coming against the run of play, but Nant won't care about that. They lead 1-0 at the break. As we get the second half underway. Gelo making notes there. The Bordeaux coach with a lot to think about. So here's Bessat with the free kick. Oh, and everyone's missed it. And it's another goal. 2-0 to Nantes. Gelo Boggi squeezing the ball under Caroso. Djordovic again miscues. Actually took the ball past Saive. Viscarondo also couldn't make contact. But Gelo Boggi did. An hour gone, and the visitors now lead 2 0. Oh, Nantes continuing to press despite their two goal advantage. That's some good work down the left hand side. Here's Vadou. That's a dangerous cross. Bedoya arriving. Oh, great save by Caruso, but Djordovic is there, and it's 3 0. The Serb finally getting his name on the score sheet on 64 minutes. And he may well celebrate. The away fans delighted. Fado's cross too high for Orban. And that's Djordovic's eighth goal of the season. It puts him level with Zlatan Ibrahimovic in the scoring charts. And there is the final whistle. Bordeaux's unbeaten run comes to an abrupt end at the hands of their rivals. Celebrations in full flow in the away dressing room. Nantes closed to within three points of Monaco in third.